Okay, looking at part C then. We are asked to factorise 2x squared plus 6xy. So what we've got to look for is common factors that we can divide by. So pause the question and have a look at that now. Okay, so we can see in each that we have an x. Okay, so I'm going to start by writing x and then a bracket here. You'll also notice that 2 goes into 2 and into 6. So we can divide also by 2. Now, if I take this 2x squared and I've divided by 2x, all that I'm left with is x. And if we take the 3xy and divide that by 2x, I get left, sorry, the 6xy, and I get left with 3y. For part D, I'm asked to simplify this expression here, h to the power of 3, all raised to the power of 4. Pause the video and have a go at that question now. Okay, part D. Remember, h to the power of 3 means h times by h times by h. And when we have h to the power of 3 all raised to the power of 4, that's saying h3, h to the power of 3, times by h to the power of 3, times by h to the power of 3, times by h to the power of 3. If we were to write that out in full, we'd have h times h times h, times h times h times h, times h times by h times by h, times by h times by h times by h. Very long-winded, okay, and in reality, we don't need to do that. Okay, we can see from this that my answer would be h to the power of 12. Now going back to the original question, if you do 3 times by 4, you will get h to the power of 12. So to do these questions, all you have to do is multiply the indices together. Question 16. We've got two equations here, then a factorising question, and then a simplification question. So part A, we've got a fairly simple two-step equation to solve. We've then got, in part B, some brackets to expand, and then a two-step equation to solve after that. So part A, remember you're going to need to get T by itself with all the numbers on the other side of the equals. So we're going to have to do some subtraction and some division to get t all by itself. With part b, you're going to have to multiply out those brackets first, then you'll have to do a subtraction and a division as with part a. So, pause the video and have a go at parts a and b now. Okay, as I said, we want to get t by itself. Now this side of the equation at the moment we have 8t plus 9. So I'm going to circle the plus 9, because that's the bit I want to move first. And to move it, we have to do the opposite. So if I take away 9 from that side, and I've also got to subtract 9 from that side. That leaves me with 8t is equal to 6. Finally, I'm going to circle my 8 because that's the bit I'm now going to move. The opposite of 8 times t is dividing by 8. So t is equal to 6 over 8. Also, if we simplify that, is 3 over 4. So that is our answer for t. Now part b, first thing I'm going to do is expand the brackets. So I'm going to do 7 times by r, 7 times by 6, and we get 7r plus 42 equals 35. Following the same process as before, I'm going to subtract 42, and we get left with 7r equals negative 7. Finally, divide by 7, and we get left with r equals negative 1.